Good morning. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. I'm going to be reading Acts chapter 16, verse 16 through 34. One day, as we were going down to the place of prayer beside the river, we met a demon-possessed slave girl who was a fortune teller and earned much money for her masters. <coughs> she followed along behind us, shouting, These men are servants of God, and they have come to tell you how to have your sins forgiven. This went on day after day until Paul, in great distress, turned and spoke to the demon within her. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her, he said, and instantly it left her. Her master's hopes of wealth were now shattered. They grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the judges at the marketplace. These Jews are corrupting our city, they shouted. They are teaching the people to do things that are against the Roman laws. A mob was quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the judges ordered them stripped and beaten with wooden whips. Again and again, the rods slashed down across their bare backs, and afterwards, they were thrown into prison. The jailer was threatened with death if they escaped, so he took no chances, but put them into the inner dungeon and clamped their feet into the stocks. <laughs> Around midnight, as Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to the Lord, and the other prisoners were listening, suddenly there was a great earthquake. The prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors flew open, and the chains of every prisoner fell off. The jailer awakened to see the prison doors wide open, and assume, assuming the prisoners had escaped, he drew his sword to kill himself. But Paul yelled to him, Don't do it, we are all here. Trembling with fear, the jailer called for lights and ran to the dungeon and fell down before Paul and Silas. He brought them out and begged them, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved and your entire household. Then they told him and all his household the good news from the Lord. That same hour he washed their stripes and he and all his family were baptized. Blessings on the reading. Amen. I'll be reading John 17, verses 20 through 26. This is where Jesus is praying for the believers. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. <clears throat> I in them and you in me, may they be brought to complete unity to the, let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I want those who have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory. The glory you have given me because you have loved me before the creation, creation of the world. Righteous Father, through the world does not know you. I know you and they know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them, and that I myself may be in them. 